If Romans chapter 7 describes the battle that you are facing in your walk as a Christian, then this could be the difference between using Romans chapter 7 as an excuse and using Romans chapter 6 in order to be set free from sin. If you've already been saved and have experienced God's grace, let's say he's already delivered you from some major sins, and now you want to get the few remaining sins under control, then you need to know we have to make the tree good in order for the fruit to be good. And that takes renewing our minds with the truth because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Our words determine our days in the future. That's a spiritual principle that works whether we know it or not. God's people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So what do we need to do? We need to continue renewing our minds with the truth and continue to do good, giving alms of such things as we have. Then all things will be clean for us, the inside and the outside. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. But every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire.